I'm Don, Don Hedeker. I'm at the University of Chicago, Department of Public Health Sciences. I'm a biostatistician. I do research on longitudinal data analysis uh, and develop methods for longitudinal data analysis, in particular what are called multi-level or mixed effects models. For the summer program, I teach a week-long course called Longitudinal Data Analysis, including categorical outcomes. I would say the goals are that the students taking the course at the end they can analyze their own longitudinal data using the methods that they learn in the class with confidence and so and they they know how to interpret the results i think that's a big issue is that it's these days running software is not hard it's often point and click and run but then you get output and it's like what does this mean if you don't know how to interpret the output you're lost. So, so we really focus, I think, on the course with running examples and trying to give them real experience with learning how to read the output, knowing when something might be wrong, and how to improve the interpretability of the analysis. There's a lot of lecture, naturally, but there's also labs in which students do some exercises with the methodology that I've been presenting. So those are largely based on the examples I present, but I'll say, okay, so they have a skeleton. So I don't want them to get hung up too much on reading in the data, let's say. I want them to concentrate on, okay, we, we fit this model in the class, I showed you the results, now tweak it in this way and see what, how the results might change. The prerequisites for the course, I would say, is to have a good understanding of ordinary multiple regression. Since the methods for longitudinal data analysis, the multi-level methods, they build on that. So having good knowledge about multiple linear regression, as well as some exposure to logistic regression. Logistic regression for dichotomous outcomes, since the methods in the class, again, build upon that. And really, in, we focus mostly in terms of software on Stata and SAS, so some experience with doing analyses with either Stata or SAS, or both if you're <laughs> so inclined. I've taught this course here at ICPSR I, probably like over five years now, I think, and the participants have been pretty varied. You, uh, you get some students that are working on their PhD, you get some junior faculty, some postdocs, and from a wide number of areas, political science, social science, some from more quantitative areas, uh, so it's, it's quite varied. And that's what makes it kind of interesting, is that, and that's, I think, also what makes the, the labs interesting, is that students learn from each other. Because there's some students that, that can grasp how to do these things a little bit quicker, and they can help the other students that, 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 that have to have a little bit more guidance, let's say. You know, I try to be hands-on, but also showing a little bit of the theory behind the methods, because it, it just seems like um, if you want to apply these methods to your own data, uh, having a good foundational understanding of the methods uh, helps. So then it, you will know how to apply these methods and how to, again, to interpret them in meaningful ways. So obviously within a, a week, we can't get super detailed on the theory, the derivative, stuff like that. But I certainly want to give the students a flavor for how these models are estimated, uh, what to look for if things might go, go wrong. I mean, it's very common for, I get people coming into my office, let's say, they look directly at the, the p-values, let's say, for the variables they're interested in. I say, well, let's back up. Let's see how many subjects are in this analysis. Is that how many subjects are in your study? You know, things like that. Before we get to the p-values, let's see, has the analysis been conducted in the way you think it should be? Because it's quite easy to make a mistake or the software does something that you don't expect. You know, and, and so uh, I try to impress upon the students those aspects too. Let's look at this, let's look at this, then we'll look at the p-values. So, so again, so they can get an idea of when things go wrong, what to look for.